welcome to my channel hope you are all doing good in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how to cut the back of the concept blouse so in our previous lesson i've shown you how to cut the front part of it but in today's lesson we are going to learn how to cut the back part of it perfectly so if you are new to this channel you are highly welcome please kindly subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell for you to be notified when there's a new video and for those of you that have already subscribed i really thank you and appreciate you for your support god bless you now let's move to the table now this is the starting point i've already made a line here so i'll be using the length of 17 inches for the pattern that we're going to use now i will mark the vertical measurement first of all i'm going to measure the chest line so i'm using the chest line of nine inches so i will have to make a straight line for the chest line which is nine inches then i will mark my waist line i'm going to need only two vertical line the chest line and the waist line so then now i will mark it 17 inches 17 inches so i have to make a line as well we are going to leave one and a half inches for the zip allowance one and a half inches for the zip allowance so we are going to make a straight line of 1.5 inches for the zipper allowance now we are going to measure the boss span which is four and a half inches we're going to use four and a half inches so we are going to make a straight line so that is that. And let me label like this chest line and the waist line. So we're going to measure the neck. The neck which we're going to use is three inches. Then we are going to use one and a half inches for the depth. So this is it. Now the shoulder line is eight you can still place your tape measurement here so you measure it here measure the height here as well make the eight inches here as well now after that then we make a line this way Now, then you take your tape measurement and mark one inches here. So you connect the one inches, you connect it to the three inches that you've already marked here. These three inches you connect it to it, one inches. So that's that. Then the next thing is to connect the three inches three inches to the one and a half inches of next depth that you've already marked so we we'll measure that one now so the next thing for us right now is to look for the half of your arm hole you can do it this way for you to get the half of the arm hole you can fold it this way So, 
easy to close half of it. And that is that now. That's the half of the ham hole. Now we are going to measure the chest line. So the chest line that I will be working with is uh, 39. So 39 divided by 4 is 9.75. 9.75 is there. And that is that. Now we are going to collect the ham hole line. We're going to connect it this way. So this is the back ham hole line. The next thing right now is to measure at one inch below. This is it here, one inch below. Then you come down to the waistline. Then you mark half an inch, half an inch here. Then you mark half an inch here as well. So you are going to connect the one inch below the chest line to the half an inch to the waistline on both sides so you connect the other side as well together so the next thing to do right now for us to get the yoke i'm going to measure seven inches which is going to be here so we're going to make a, a line Connect it to the zip area here. From here, you connect the seven inches. This is it. From the half of your ham hole to the seven inch mark that we've marked for our yoke from here to here, then you connect it to the zip area here. Then at the same time, you can make it to be a bit curved. So you are going to come to the zip area then you mark 0 0.5 inches to eliminate any zip bulge you connect it from the chest line area that's it so if you want to cut now you have to cut the zip area from here so now the next thing right now is for us to mark the waistline so the waistline we are working with now is 38 38 divided by 4 is 9.5 inches so 9.5 inches this is it here plus the half an inch that we've marked here so that will be 10.5 inches so 10.5 inches will be here this is a 9.5 inches plus one so it's going to be here Now, we are going to connect the line together. We're going to connect the line together now. We connect it together. So, we're done now. So, the next thing for us now is to cut out the pattern. So, I will start from the neckline here. I will cut the neck. Then I'm going to cut this. Then we bring it down to the ham hole area. Then I will stop at the yoke here. Then I will cut out the yoke.
so that's the yoke now then i will continue the ham hole and pop it straight down remember i didn't add any seam allowance you want to sew your fabric you have to add your seam to it when placing the pattern on the fabric so you cut it straight 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 down and it now. so you go to the zip area where We've marked 0.5 inches to eliminate zip bulge. So you cut it here. Now I'm going to cut the dart out. And I'm going to cut the other side as well. I'm going to cut it out. So here is it now. Here's the yoke for the back. Now, this is the back of the corset blouse. You can see it. There's the yoke, and there's the back. And if you have not yet watched the part one of this video, I will drop the link below for you to watch so that you can know how to cut the first part of it, that is the front part of it. And here is a first pattern that we've dropped. The first one, this is the first one. And this is the yoke of the front part. You can see how beautiful it is. So if this tutorial is helpful, kindly like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Till I see you in my next video. Bye.